bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise him, saints. It is time to allow Jehovah some international time with us and his people. It is truly a blessed day for the people of Jehovah. Look at someone and say, glad you escaped the hands of Satan with us. Let us bless the God of the universe, our Alpha and Omega. He truly is a good and faithful God, the God above all other gods. If you do not recognize it yet, we have made it into 2021 by the grace and mercy of Jehovah. See, we have allowed Jehovah to take over from the very moment the video has begun. Come on in, Lord, and take over. Give your people what we stand in need of, and that is more of you. You said, according to Revelation 21, 1 and 3, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth has passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. King James Virgin. God bless each of us in the upcoming days. May our God continue to bless and guide us daily. Welcome to the powerful approved, appointed, anointed, prophetic, and God-fearing ministry, the best that God has given me. Here, the family at the best that God has given me ministry have dedicated themselves to the flood, the airwaves, with the gospel of Christ globally. We invite you, your family, friends, ministries, and businesses to join us. Share, follow and subscribe to our videos. Video is on both YouTube and Periscope. Seize the moment by partnering with the best that God has given me ministry by sending in tithes, planting seeds, and your prayers. Cash app Stephanie Greathouse. Use the donation button on jehuradio.com page, the best that God has given me. Phone number is 478-919-3687 and WhatsApp is plus one four seven eight nine one nine three six eight seven. Email us at Jehu Messengers for Christ Radio at gmail.com. We want to thank those who sent in their donations, prayer requests, tithes, and testimonies. We hear you and appreciate you for all that you do for Christ. Again, thank you, keep them coming, and amen. We allow Jehovah to continue to speak to his people through Apostle Stephanie S. Greathouse. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Exalted, O oh God. Be lifted up, Jesus. Glory to your holy name, Jesus. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Minister Nikita Bruton, for that introduction to the hearers and doers of the word of God. Can we give Jehovah a 30-second praise as we prepare our spirits and ears to receive what thus saith the Lord? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, your Jesus. holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Thank you're Jesus. worthy of Thank all the you, praise, Lord. God. Praise Have you. your praise way you, in your people, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, sweet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Glory Jesus. to your Thank name, you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise our Jehovah that sits high and look low. Come on in and in this and every service as Jehovah Jireh, the God that will provide every need for his people. Come on here and shout, glory to God, glory to God. I want to say good day to each and every one of you all over the world. We want to take a look at Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 6. And because it's long, I'm going to stick with the King James Version. Glory to God. And it reads, and it shall come to pass 
If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field, and blessed shall thou be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of the sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall be thou when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Glory to God. Glory to God. And we're going to take a look at the um, message gospel. If you listen obediently to the voice of God, your God, and heartedly obey his commandments that I command you today, God, your God, will place you on high, high above all the nations of the world. All these blessings will come down on you and spread out beyond you because you have responded to the voice of God, your God. God's blessing inside the city, God's blessing in the country, God's blessing on your children, the crops of your land, the young of your livestock, the calves of your herd, the lambs of your flocks, God's blessing on your basket and bread bowl, God's blessing in your coming in, God's blessing in your going out, glory to God, glory to God. I rise in obedience mm -hmm, to the word of God. I first give all honor to our God, who is the head of my life and home. Come on in, Jehovah. You are welcome in my life and in my family. To my bishop, father, pastor, and overseer of his and his suitable wife, Apostle Stephen and Prophetess Bernadette West. I praise God for them, their training, their love for me, and their passion for those connected to me. Mm -hmm. God, take up your abode in the newly dedicated Ephesus, and that is in us. It's not a building. Somebody catch it right there. Glory to God. We want our, our insides and our heart to be pure, that Holy Ghost and God and the Son and Father can live down on the inside of us. Glory to God. Count it not strange that buildings are closed. Glory to God. God is trying to remind the people his true home is in our hearts. Glory to God. Glory to God. I promise you, I will only be before you if Jehovah graces me to stand on his behalf as a mouthpiece of his. God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. If I could name this, it would be dunamis power of God. The dunamis power of God. See, first of all, we have to humble ourselves and begin to recognize that we serve an almighty God. A powerful God. That his works are eternal, everlasting, and on purpose. Mm. I can show you a lasting example of God's glorious might. The grandest display of his power was the resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ. See, in this resurrection, Christ defeated Satan. He broke all the chains of sin and death once and for all. For this reason, the message of the gospel is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, Father, prepare your people around the world under the sound of my voice to receive the salvation of Yahweh around the world, over the world. And hallelujah, please prepare us to receive your raw power unto eternal life. See, God showed us in his word that there was more than one step to achieve what he needed you to do. 
And that's because he desires an everlasting relationship. See, some of us would get the whole cake and run off and never come back and say, Thank you, I, I received your son. Never have to feel like they have to submit. They just get that little cake and they just run off with it. So this is why I believe he broke it down so that we would constantly have to come to him to have a sustaining relationship. But in this sustaining relationship, glory to God, it breaks down, hallelujah, glory to God. It breaks it down for us, hallelujah, because we go step by step by step. Hallelujah. After salvation, he tells us according to Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. That's King James. But I I want to I want to work with the passion translation on this one, glory to God. But I promise you this: the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and you will be filled with His power, and you will be my messengers to Jerusalem, throughout Judea, the distant provinces, even to the remote places on the earth. Now that's the passion translation. But I'd like to transpose hallelujah glory to God or translate it in a different way and use different words because I want to make sure that some hallelujah these changes that we have that we will be able to ingest and digest the word glory to God that we may be able to meditate day and night on the word of Jehovah. But I promise you this the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be filled with power. You will seize power or you will be seized with power. And you will be my messengers, my witnesses, or the Greek word can be translated to martyrs to Jerusalem, throughout Judea, the distant providence. Or Samaria, Samaria. And Samaria is a term that's used for a distant region populated by another people, a group of people, even to the remote places of the earth. See, I need that word to, to marinate right there in our spirits. So we, we say Jehovah began to, hallelujah, in order to begin to walk in your deuteronomous power, that unlimited power you have provided for your people, we must have a complete understanding that it gives us power to preach and teach and to live before all nations. Glory to God. See, hallelujah. I didn't see denomination there any place, but... Hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God. It gives us power to go to different lands and what? Project Jesus, project the Father in heaven, project the Holy Spirit on the inside so that what people would have a desire to follow the God we serve. Mm -hmm. And let us use this power that he's providing his people with. Let us use it with accountability, responsibility, the stewardship of Jehovah over his people. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you're so worthy of the mm, you're so worthy of the praise, God. Because what you did for us, you did it way back before the foundation of the earth. You already had a plan in mind how you weren't going to direct us, how you were going to lead us, how you were going to teach us. 
Glory to God. And Father, we promise we will not misuse your power. See, we recognize, God, that all powers come from the Lord, which is why the Deuteronomist demonstration of the power is the strength and the force of the Lord God at work in his creation. It's in work in us. Come on and shout right here because this is Ikorabosha. This is good news to us. Hallelujah. It's working down on the inside with a purpose. Glory to God. See, Father, we would not use this power to cripple your people. We won't use it to hurt your people. We won't use it to make your people lame or to try to manipulate them or to try to trick your people for any vain glory of ourselves. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Or to protect ourselves. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. Or to project ourselves as demigods. Hallelujah. We won't. We will not project her. Hallelujah. That power as our own and call ourselves a minor God before your people. Mm, glory to God. Glory to God. We want that dunamis power. Hallelujah. For proper kingdom use. Glory to God. I said for proper kingdom use. People of God, get ready to walk in your blessings. Get ready to walk in the power of Jehovah. New year, new gifts. Huh? New year, new goals. New year, new love. New year, new mantles. New year, new miracles. New year, new relationships. Glory to God. Glory to God. How many of us need Jehovah to do something new in your life? Come on and be honest with a God that is standing before us. He's waiting for us to get in a new prone position to get more submissive. Hallelujah. That he can impart into us what we stand in need of. Hallelujah. And some things we stand in need of we don't even recognize that we need it hallelujah glory to God but just let me remind us that everyone under the sound of my voice is blessed you have a new start in life forget about your past mistakes and continue to look to the hills which cometh our help glory to God I want you to be strengthened be encouraged and experience the true love of Jehovah Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Remember, Jehovah wants you to have access to this power. Mm. Understand, huh? you're going to have to give up some things. Huh? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to have to get up your whoremonging. You're going to have to give up your adultery lifestyle. You're going to have to give up all fornication and prostitution. You're going to have to give up everything that belonged to Satan. You're going to have to give up your gambling. Hallelujah. I won't go stand in the line for myself, but I'll give the money and the number to somebody else to stand in the lottery line for me hallelujah or i'll drive out of town hallelujah glory to god go in a neighborhood where don't nobody know me and play my numbers you're gonna have to give up that type of gambling those type of secrets i'm talking about a god that never sleeps no one he never sleeps and he never slumbers that means when you were plotting and scheming hallelujah glory to god God on Wednesday what you were going to do on Friday God knew about it 365 days in the past huh? glory to God this is why I say you cannot play games with God we are gonna have to make a conscious decision put the games down hallelujah glory to God put the games down put the games aside hallelujah and let us begin to walk as mature saints hallelujah you see mature saints have learned over the years Years, that anytime Jehovah is releasing his energy that means the people of Jehovah will have to make a sacrifice oh, oh, oh okay I don't want to lose you there but I'm just trying to help us uh, but I'll move on to you ready to catch up but I'm gonna go on with those that's ready and flowing with me
See, but I'm praying that we'll be, hallelujah, helping you understand the word and move from Jehovah. Move on Jehovah. Move towards him. Move in the direction that he's trying to lead us in. Glory to God. I try not to be a sugar-coating preacher. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I pray that I am succeeding in that. Mm. These type of preachers have made a grave mistake when handling the people of Jehovah. I pray that they repent of those mistakes and be restored back to Jehovah. See, hallelujah, glory to God. If I play patty cake with you, hallelujah, you think you can play patty cake with God. And I'm trying to let you know, he is not a God of jokes. But he's a God of life. He's a God of power. He's a God that deserves reverence. Hallelujah, glory to God. He's a God that deserves our submission without, mm, without hindrance, without holding back anything. Glory to God. See, our Creator knew we would need this power to perform miracles. Not miracles now and then. Not temporary miracles, but everlasting miracles. We need this power to produce signs and wonders that are everlasting. See, Jehovah knew we would need the power over diseases. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Glory to God. That power that causes change to come forth down through eternity. See, we cannot move huh, by the gift of healings without Deuteronomy's power of Jehovah. See, people need to know huh, that people of Jehovah, they can heal them. Hallelujah. Of AIDS huh, and all its complications. Huh, all forms of cancer can be healed by somebody that has the deuteronomous power. Restoring the blind eyes can, can be huh, achieved huh, when the person has deuteronomous power. Huh, opening deaf ears. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God when that person has Deuteronomy's power. See, the mute can begin to speak when they have Deuteronomy's power placed on them, on those lips. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, the lame will get up and walk. Glory to God. The lame will get up and walk if someone with Deuteronomy's power would touch their legs. Hallelujah. Just speak a word over them. That's going to take the Deuteronomy's power of Jehovah. This power can cure COVID-19 and cause it to stop running rapid throughout our cities, throughout our counties, throughout our states, throughout the earth. Not only COVID-19, it can do it for any other human-made disease. Come on and shout. Shout, I say. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shout right there. Glory to God. See, Jehovah knew we would need some Deuteronomy's power over nature. His people need this power to stop floods, huh? to stop sending flood waters. Hallelujah. Cause them to stop coming to the land and cause them to turn around and receive. Glory to God. Glory to God. We need the ability to command the flood waters huh? to not to do the damage it could do. Hallelujah. See, Dunamis power will turn a Tsami back out to sea. That power will calm any raging storm. It does not matter if it is a natural storm or a spiritual storm. That Dunamis power can handle it all. The Dunamis power will allow you to walk on water and you can begin to multiply the fish. You get you can multiply the fish and the loaves when you got faith in that Deuteronomy's power that God has placed down on the inside. He's allowing us to have access to the same power that Jesus Christ himself. Mm, 
Come on, somebody catch it right there. See, you can cause your fish to jump into the fishing net. All you got to do is let it down and command the fish, hallelujah, to jump into the net. And they will begin to jump into the net. Huh? Not one time, huh? but down through eternity. This Deuteronomy's power, it is eternal in Christ Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, bless your holy name, Jesus, because you're so worthy. Thank you, God, for your Deuteronomy's power, because that Deuteronomy's power is the only power over the spiritual realm. Mm. Glory to God. See, we're going to need this power to forgive sins. Yes, let me show it to you. Hallelujah. Forgive me as I forgive others. That means God has given us the power to forgive sins. Hallelujah. Just like Jesus, he had to forgive us. Hallelujah. Now we're to duplicate and forgive Someone has sinned against you. You have the power to forgive those who transgress and transpass against us. We need that power to cast out demons. See that same power to lay hands and demand the devil to release the children of Jehovah. Command the devil to take his hands off their minds, their spirits, their finances, their health. I'm talking about Deuteronomy's power that would cause the dead to rise up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Something about this Deuteronomy's power that he gives us. Hallelujah. It gives us what we need to preach the gospel of peace to all nations. The energy that I speak about, it provides us with the strength and the ability to tear souls from the grasp of Satan's hands and his kingdom. It helps those same souls become members of Christ's everlasting kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Deuteronomy's power of the gospel and the gospel alone does this. Nothing else can do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And all these examples of the power of Jehovah, they were left so that we could continue to do the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It will take Jehovah's pure and unadulterated power to perform the miracles that I am speaking about. Glory to God. Do you have faith to believe that you can be a partaker of the Deuteronomy's power? Glory to God. Do you have faith to believe huh, that you can be a partaker of the Deuteronomy's power? Glory to God. Oh, by the way, huh, did I mention there would be a price to pay? See, when we serve an intelligent and a wise God. He is not going to release that Deuteronomy's power in us if we're not ready if we're not responsible and if we're not accountable to him come on and shout you know it's the truth glory to god glory to god hallelujah bless your holy name see we have all hallelujah have to live hallelujah this word we're gonna have to live this word of jehovah you're not just gonna be able to stand up and and read it Hallelujah. And not stand up and preach it. But you're going to have to be able to live it. Glory to God. And we are living the story. With all that is within us. We're living his word. With everything that we have down on the inside of us. See we must become one with the word. We must become flexible. As well as changeable. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That means we cannot move by our own religiosity. We cannot move by our traditions. Nor can we move by our limited thinking. Glory to God. Glory to God. We must be willing to submit to our Savior and His ways. We must be willing to 
conversate with him during the midnight hours. We must be in a place where he wants to direct us or to lead us that we can hear clearly. That means we must keep our ears open for his total access. I like to say it this way, that our ears must be married to the lips of Jehovah. Sometimes he want us to just bathe in his presence. Hallelujah, glory to God. When was the last time that you took time and just sat before him peacefully and allowed him to download in you, allowed the power to come into you, hallelujah, glory to God, allowed him to just wash away the world, hallelujah, and his ways from you, allowed him, hallelujah, to mend your broken heart, hallelujah, allowed him to touch your body, allowed him to touch your mind and then he picked you up and then he dust you off and then he set you out again and say you ready for the next journey when was the last time hallelujah glory to God you got in his presence and allowed him hallelujah to be in control of everything that was happening in that hour glory to God see one might ask the question why would Jehovah display these examples of his power Plus, allow his followers to have access to that same Deuteronomy's power. Pay attention right here. He had a strong desire to reveal his power to his followers. Besides, he wants us to praise him. Glory to God. See, this Deuteronomy's power would require encouragement. For us to seek him. Deuteronomy's power. Will cause us. To grope. For Jehovah. And his presence. In our life. Plus to apply. His teachings. To our life. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Needs to catch it right here. And so that we may praise him. Glory to God. That we would marvel at him and his works. That we would recognize that he is God all by himself. Glory to God. Thank you. Glory to God. Now I got some prophetic words. Some things that God has been sharing with me. Glory to God. And I need you to hear. I need you to recognize if this is you. Be careful when you're traveling in unfamiliar surroundings be prepared for any sudden outbreak of violence i see two individuals traveling and it looks like you're in some type of suv you are traveling in an unknown area or you got lost or you tried to return to an area that you were no longer familiar with be mindful be careful you will find yourself in the middle of a neighborhood shootout if this is you listen to me drop to the floor of your vehicle you and your passenger and i need you to stay put on that floor until Hallelujah, you're going to hear a knock on that glass. Hallelujah, they're going to come on the driver's side. It's going to be the authority. But I want you to get this description right. It would be an African American. He's going to be about five, six to six feet tall. He's going to have a pump shotgun with him and it's going to be pointed in the air. He will approach you on the driver's side. Do not move until he arrives. Do not move until he arrives. God is sending you an angel to protect you in your hour of need. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Now, I, I need us to recognize something, men and women of God. Sometimes the enemy have a trap set for us. They try to coach us back to places in our past with vices of security. I'm sorry, with our vice of curiosity. We, we sometimes want to go back there and see if anything has changed. Or go back and see if people are still there. Or if the people have changed. Sometimes you can never return. Hear me and hear me correctly. Sometimes it is God's will that you never return. Glory to God. As ambassadors, corporation, and warriors of Christ come together on one accord. And we bind up every senseless violence, shootings of any sorts in any neighborhood. We bind up murder, manslaughter, premeditated murder, and killing sprees. Glory to God. It's time to go to war. Precious lives are at stake. Huh? Prayer warriors that reside in neighborhoods where this type of violence could happen, would happen, and has happened. We need you to get in your vehicle and to drive in your neighborhood in your locked up vehicle and bind up this senseless violence. Hallelujah. Drive from one end of the street down to the next. Try to go through your entire community. If you're not a driver, no problem. Walk it when Jehovah tell you to. Walk it when Jehovah leads you. You are just as powerful of a person if you're driving or walking. Do not allow the enemy to destroy our neighborhoods. Call on the name of Yahweh and ask him to come into the neighborhoods and take up his abode. Ask him to release his yoke destroying anointing that the captives can go free of Satan's hold. Uh, glory to God. Invite him in your neighborhood, not just your home. Glory to God. See, we recognize evil cannot remain where he is. Darkness will have to leave where the light is. Uh, be committed. And persistent, you will see that Satan will lose his hold over your neighborhood. If there's other warriors and saints that you know that's in your neighborhood, you can seek them out if God so leads you to do so. Seek them out for their assistance in the warring against Satan. You can designate certain hours that you will meet Jehovah on behalf of your neighbors. I say again, be consistent, huh? be persistent, and be vigilant. Huh? Listen for the voice of Jehovah. Huh? He will begin to give you divine strategies on how to take your neighborhood back. Glory to God. Glory to Him. Glory. Give Him honor and give Him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, saints. It's shouting time. Come on and shout. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The American Rifle Association. Hallelujah. Is filing bankruptcy. Huh? In New York, huh? Jehovah, let them continue to lose all of their money and do not allow them to come back in different names. They've been kicked out or they're leaving New York. They're headed to Texas. Father, but every state huh, can take up the same laws that New York has put in place and put them out of business. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God. They're senseless, all about money, not thinking about the safety of those hallelujah being affected by those weapons selling those weapons to people that are not stable selling them to people that have not been properly trained to use them oh god give your people a reprieve in this area hallelujah glory to god glory to god in the rain god down through eternity huh? don't tell me what our god won't do he will answer the prayers of his righteous hallelujah glory Glory to God. See, so now some of you have an insight on why our former president just told his followers to purchase rifles just a couple of weeks or months back. 
glory to God. I remember looking at it and I was like, did he just tell these people to arm themselves? It was just before they took the storm, hallelujah, of our capital, hallelujah, but Jehovah, if these weapons ended up in the wrong hands or the hands of deviant thinking individual caused them to lose the weapons, caused the weapons to malfunction, send warm angels to remove the weapons out of those that would misuse these weapons, prevent the weapons from being used in senseless violence. Shout for Jehovah's name's sake. Shout for Jehovah's mercy and grace. Shout for he who answered the prayers of his righteous. Shout for him, he who delivers his people down through eternity. Shout for our God. Give him glory. Give him honor and give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for those prophetic and encouraging words to grow by. Let each of us continue to remain encouraged and strong in Jesus Christ as we continue to work for the Lord. Remember, it is not too late to turn around and give your life to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. It's not too late to give your life to Christ. Hallelujah. If you do not know Jesus as your Savior, you can, you can. Repeat after me, please. Move close to your listening device. Father, I come to you now in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We confess that we are sinners. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, and we come into covenant with you to accept, follow, and obey your Son, Jesus Christ, as our Lord and Savior. We ask you, Jesus Christ, to be the Lord of our lives and to be our Savior. We receive you now as our Lord and Savior with our hearts. Great. Welcome to the kingdom of God's family. The angels are rejoicing for you have returned to our Father, and it is so. Now connect yourself to us or another Bible teaching ministry and get to know your Father's ways. Backsliders, you know that it is okay to return to God. He is married to you and he eagerly awaits your return. He is receiving you back right now. Begin to praise Jehovah for accepting you back. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe there is someone that may be sick. God says he sent his word and healed them from their destructions. Psalms 107 and 20. Place your hand on whatever part of your body needs a touch. Remain close to your device. Embrace the healing warmth of God. And Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for bringing us here today. Lord, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for a sane mind and activities of our limbs, Lord. And we ask that you continue to heal our bodies, Lord. We first ask that you forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for anything we said in eyesight or ear sound that is not pleasing unto you, Lord. We ask that you heal our body right now. Heal any and everything that does not line up with the word of God, Lord. We ask that anything that the enemy may have against us, that you move it out of the way and bind it up in your name's sake, Lord. And we ask that everything in our body lines up according to the word of God, Lord. Our organs, our muscles, Lord, our blood vessels, let everything in our body work according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, here is the part where everyone can participate. Perhaps Jesus is leading you to partner with us monthly for as little as $30, which is only a dollar a day. Or perhaps he is leading you to plant a one-time seed of $30. You will receive the same blessing of Jehovah if you give one time or monthly. It may be a different amount Jesus has placed on your heart. Obey Yahweh and give as he has blessed you to give. Go to one of the different ways to make your tax-free donations or plant your seeds. Go to our website, jehuradio.com, and the best God has given me tab or https forward slash forward slash donorbox.org slash the best that God has given me ministry or cash app the messengers of Christ radio network LLC or Stephanie Greathouse 
or send your mail to 2929 Watson Boulevard 2, number 171, Warner Robins, Georgia 31093. May God return it to you 100 fold before it leaves your hands. And it is so. Prophetically speaking, we know we help someone break free from the lies and deception of Satan. I declare and decree that this word will continue to resonate in your emotions, finances, minds, motivations, and spirits down through eternity. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Jesus. Now, share these weekly messages with others wherever you go. Remember, always use the best that God has given unto you. You have a call to action announcement. Shalom. We recognize that the pandemic has forced a lot of us to become shut in saints. The Messengers of Christ Radio Network LLC is waiting for people just like you to find the internet radio or YouTube videos as your new home. Remember, you are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. We broadcast to over 115 countries. We invite you, your congregation, or your businesses to seize the moment and become part of our family. Explore the messages of hope that we minister globally. We remain one of those that have very modest rates in an economically conscious-minded society of today. We invite you, your congregation, or your business to seize the moment and become a part of a growing nation of believers. Share the words that you receive from God globally. Remember, we have room for you on our internet airtime. We can help you spread your wings in our friendly and tranquil worship environment. Contact Apostle Stephanie S. Greathouse by emailing us at jhumessengersforchristradio at gmail.com or phone us at 478-919 three six eight seven thank you jesus hallelujah thank you for that jesus we praise your name thank you lord thank you for intelligence jesus thank you for wisdom thank you hallelujah jesus friendly reminder please be mindful when leaving your homes for any reason make sure you have your mask gloves and hand sanitizers make sure you are using them Amen. Watch the places you choose to frequent. If the parking lot is full, consider returning on a different day, having it shipped to your home, or consider curbside pickup. Please do not leave your safety, family safety, or community safety up to someone else. Please remain prayerful and vigilant. We cannot say it enough. And thank you for considering others in your decision making. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.